So you're thinking of buying new construction and you don't live in the greater Phoenix area and you're wondering, you have so many questions, you're burning questions and you want to get the answers. Well, you come to YouTube to get answers. Social media is for entertainment. YouTube is for answers. Well, in this video, we're going to tell you exactly what the builders don't tell you and hope that you don't get this information before you go shopping. All right, don't go anywhere. I can't wait to share this with all of you. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel or the 10th and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like bell so that you're notified. We release the two videos, two videos every single week. If we are not answering your questions, you need to give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We want to hear from you. We love helping people move to the greater Phoenix area. All right, let's get started and tell you all about the builders. All right, guys, let's get started. We have had so many buyers that are gravitating towards new construction because I'll tell you, inventory out here in the greater Phoenix area is minimal and what is out there is not so amazing or there's that craziness again. So people are really taking a look at some of the new construction and why wouldn't you? There have been some amazing incentives, discounts going on over the last six months. And I am telling you, it is a fantastic time to get into new construction. Here's what you're gonna wanna remember when buying new construction. First of all, don't forget that any city is, it starts in the main part of the city and then it continues to grow out. So the older the city is, the further the burbs go, right? So new construction for the most part is going to be on the outskirts of town. If you are looking for good schools, freeway access, access to medical care, shopping, dining, give us a call. Here's the thing guys, when you go online, it looks like things are relatively close. I'm telling you from one end of the Southeast Valley to the Northwest Valley, it is almost a two hour drive now. Let me tell you, the maps look like it's only 15 minutes or it says 15 miles. That's not the case. You need a professional. Let me tell you, because the sales rep that you're gonna talk to, they have one job and that is to sell you. They're going to tell you anything and everything within their code of ethics to get you to buy a home in their community and one of the lots that are currently available right now. They're going to stretch that truth a whole lot. I was in a new construction site where the sales rep, remember, these are licensed agents, but they're sales reps. And the agent said to my client, there is rumor that there's supposed to be a fries going in just down the road, um, possibly in a couple of years. And I looked at him like, don't be saying that to my client. Unless you know that it has already been approved by city council, you can't say that. So again, an unsuspecting buyer would have gone in there thinking that a grocery store would be right down the road when in reality, the closest one was about 10 miles away. All right, number two, here's the difference between what's going on with the builders right now. They actually have three different types of new construction. They have what I call QMI, quick move in, they have spec homes, and they have from dirt. These are kind of my own language. Here's the thing, most, if not all, of the marketing and concessions and everything on the internet that says, we'll give you $100,000 off or reduced price or you know this, that, and the other, credits at the design center, et cetera. First of all, read the fine print, okay? But those are only on quick movements. So for instance, we had a client that went into a builder and they said, and right now on this quick move in home, we're offering 4.99%. Well, that person, sales rep, failed to mention that it's 4.99% and it's only on that one particular home and it's only if you go FHA. Now, because we knew what questions to ask, we were able to uncover that like this, but an unsuspecting buyer would not have. So you want to make sure you identify 
whether we're talking about quick move-in incentives, those are homes that are, they're looking for a buyer quickly. There's the word, right? Quick. All right. The second is spec homes. Now, some spec homes may have some incentives, but they have already been included in that price that you see. So for instance, they've already picked the actual model. They've picked the options, if there are any for the construction, and they've already picked all the design and there's nothing you can usually change. <laughs> and they've already started on the home and the home will be done in about three to four months. That is called a spec home. So if you go in there because you see something on the internet that says they're offering, let's just say 4.99%, know that it probably doesn't apply to that particular home. Because I'll tell you, some of the builders that are offering those low interest rates, it does only work with that type of a loan and when that money is run out, there's a bucket of money that they have set aside to offer up for those loans. Once that money is gone, it's gone. So if you're not closing relatively soon and they know there's money in that bucket, you don't get it. Again, they are speculating that they will find a buyer over the next three to four months. That's what a spec is. And the last one is from dirt. This is where you're literally building your home a la carte from the ground up. You're picking the lot you want, and then you're picking the model home floor plan that goes on that dirt. You're sitting down with the sales rep and you're actually placing that house on the lot wherever you need with the minimum requirement for setbacks. And then you're picking like, is it a three car garage or a two car tandem garage, or this is an office versus a bedroom, like that you get to make those changes, everything you want. Sometimes it's scary because people are like, I have no idea, I can't visualize it. It takes a lot of thought and it takes a longer time to put that order, the contract together from dirt. But if you want, it's not a custom home, but it is a home built exactly to your needs and wants, that's a dirt, okay? There you go. Those are the three different kinds of homes. Now, let's talk about those concessions. Number three is builder concessions. 99.9% .9 of the time, in order to take advantage of those concessions, you have to use the builder's lender. Now, some larger builders have one, two, three different lenders to choose from, but they're all in with the builder. And what do I mean by that? They agree that they're the one of the preferred lenders. They will offer some incentives towards closing costs, but you know what? They bump up their interest rate so that in the end, it's the same, almost always. Some of the incentives that we saw in late 2022 have pretty much gone away. And those are the three, two ones and the two one buy downs. As 6% becomes kind of the new norm and we have an increased amount of buyer activity nationally, the builders realize now they don't have to give away as much as they were once giving away. And I've said this in previous videos, that if you are looking for new construction, as that once was a large new construction inventory, if we go back to June of 2022, as they deplete that inventory and start to sell out what they already had under construction, we're going to see those incentives go away. In fact, it's my prediction that we will see back down to minimal, maybe, five to ten thousand dollars by the end of this year if any at all concessions and again some of the builders that we saw in late 2022 were kicking in anywhere from 20 to forty thousand dollars to incent buyers to come in and buy from them those big big king concessions they're gone and again, you're not going to be locking in your rate when you're buying a new construction until you're about four weeks prior to closing. Now, where we sit today in mid 2023, that might be a good thing because they are anticipating lower interest rates later on at the end of the year. But again, there's a lot of the unknown with new construction. And I think a lot of buyers are caught off guard by that. Let's talk about number four, and that is the design center credits. So most of the time, again, if you're buying a quick move in, they'll show you the discount, right? So let's say shower and closure doors. So versus leaving it open and then you have to leave a ugly curtain or you want to put on a shower glass closure, right? If you don't get anything, there's no cost. But if you went to the design center and you wanted that in one of the bathrooms, you might have to pay about $1,200. I'm just picking a number relatively close to what it really is, $1,200. But let's say it was in a quick move-in. Instead of charging you $1,200, we're only charging you 500. You know what? You probably could have done it for yourself for 300. The point is, 
is they kind of give this Fugazi like imaginary discount. It really was never a discount because they were never really charged the retail. So again, when you go into the design center, when we go with you, we'll advise you as far as like what will see a return where some of it is just for personal enjoyment and personal need versus some of the things that you can do after closing, which of course is not wrapped into the mortgage. And again, the design center appointments, gonna they're going to hook you in and try to get you to spend as much money as you possibly can. The average new construction if you look at the base price that's that's the base price and it doesn't come with anything it doesn't even come with a garage door opener I know crazy right usually anyways the lower expensive homes like the entry level come with fewer things the more money you spend on move up type homes or in higher price point areas like the same exact builder had let's just say a five hundred and fifty thousand dollar base price in Gilbert and it came with X Y and Z they were building the same exact home up in Desert Ridge, which is in North Phoenix and a little bit more luxurious, higher demand area, they bumped up the price on the base price to 650,000 because it's just the dirt's more expensive, right? But they also changed those inclusions to not just be A, B, and C, but they also covered A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. <laughs> Do you see my point here? People that are in an area overall that have a higher demand of luxury or amenities, the builders are aware of that and they're not going to let a buyer build a, a cheap home in an expensive area. I think they learned that back in the market crash in 2007 and 2008. We just wound up having a lot of ugly homes in some areas that were really nice. So the builders really kind of changed that. And now that's not going to happen in any possible way. <laughs> All right, so the design center credits, Here's the other thing. One of the builders I saw on the advertising, it said $100,000 at the design center, but here's what the fine print says. It's uh, up to, don't forget, you gotta look for the little asterisk, up to $100,000 credit at the design center at 50% of the price. Meaning, let's just say you wanted to put in extended paver area in your backyard and you're like, oh, it's $75,000. I'll just add that on. They'll say, okay, well, it's $75,000. So what we'll do is we're gonna give you credit for half of that and you just pay 50%. And you're like, so I have to pay 30 plus thousand dollars if I wanna get that? They're like, yeah, you pay half, we pay the other half and then you still have more credit. So it's not a full on credit. Read the fine print. And that's why we're here to kind of look over there and make sure that they're not hurrying up through something and that you didn't quite understand it. Again, they are there to represent the seller, the builder. They're just there to get the household. All right, here's the number five, lot premiums. Now, lot premiums in some area make sense. If you are buying in a golf community and you are buying a home on a golf course, if you are buying on the tee, on the green, on prime real estate, I have seen lot premiums, get this guys, as high as $350,000. This is not for the house. This is just the lot premium, okay? If you are buying in a normal community, let's say it's not a golf community, but it's a corner lot that happens to be maybe 2,000 square feet larger, be careful. The builder will sell you on this one is 2,000 square feet larger, so there's a 10 or $15,000 lot premium. But let me tell you, that land is on the outside, the front yard. You don't get to personally enjoy it. And to be honest with you, if you live on a corner lot, you have more maintenance that is going to be policed by the HOA. You are responsible to maintain the side of that wall and the landscaping. And they failed to mention that to you. One particular builder even has a requirement of an upgrade on the side of the home on the elevation, which is the design. It was a $5,000 charge that went to the buyer. I don't know. Some people like corner lots. You really have to look at, again, the totality of it. I'll be honest with you. As a buyer at that moment, it's so overwhelming. You have so much stuff going on. Even if you would normally think about it, like as you're, if you're taking a note right now and you're like, oh, I would do that, I would do that. Let me tell you, when you're under stress and under you know pressure to make a decision, you forget about things to ask. And once you go under contract, there's no changes. There's not, there's not even change orders. <laughs> new construction. So you're going to want to make sure we're with you on your first visit and we will be there 
under the entire contract design center and we even pop out to the property on a monthly basis we take our own assessment of picture and we do always recommend that you get a home inspection which we'll talk a little bit more about now here's another thing number seven buyer contingencies they do accept buyer contingencies but they're not what you think they are let me tell you if we went back two years ago one of the great things about getting on this builder list and getting it locking in the contract and then not closing for an for an entire year or 18 months right was that you got to ride that equity and you never had to pay a payment until you were getting ready to close well here's one of the things that has changed significantly as a result of the market slowing down it used to be that the market was moving so quickly the builders were very forgiving or lenient on when you sold your home if you wrote a contract let's just say in january 2022 and you weren't closing until about january 23 or march of 23 they wouldn't make you sell your home right away because the market was moving so quickly they may have said you know what we'll be reaching out to you maybe in the summertime or in the fall time well let me tell you that no longer exists the builder wants you to sell your home no matter how long the build time is if it's six months if it's 10 months if it's 12 months i do have to say the build times have shortened because the builders not only has supply chain loosen up a little bit but the builders have learned to order everything up front and not incrementally as you go because there were so many holdups so everybody has learned right but here's the thing you have 90 days to sell your home and if you don't then you either a remove the contingency and move forward but these are usually very large earnest deposits we're seeing earnest deposits go up quite a bit i've seen several at twenty thousand. i've seen some at fifty thousand. um some of the smaller homes are going to be around still seven or ten thousand dollars look if you had ten thousand dollars on the line you want to know it's safe right so you're not going to remove a contingency what if your home doesn't sell if you wait too long that's a reality. Builders right now are giving 90 day contingencies. So what you need to do is you need to sell your home from wherever you're coming from. You can either A, get in a monthly rental and stay where you're at, or you can get to Arizona, finish watching the process for the building of your home and be here when it's time to close. As you can see, there's a lot of moving parts and that's why you need to give us a call. We wanna help you through all this and we wanna answer your questions. All right, let's go to number eight and that is the timeline. I kind of mentioned just a second ago, the timelines are much better and they are much more accurate than they used to be. We had even people that were going in spec homes a year ago and well, we were getting close to closing and our clients, they sold their place, they had everything, they had moving dates all picked out and we're about a month before closing and all of a sudden they say, well, we didn't get the tile flooring that we needed and so we're gonna have to push this out a couple weeks. It can cause major panic but here's the thing we right now as a whole supply chain has loosened up a little bit builders have gotten smarter so again i pre-bought almost everything and had everything in my garage before we started construction but my builder failed um baseboards i wanted four inch baseboards really nice straight line um, baseboards when it was time to put those in he did not order it and there was a shortage we've gone through the weirdest shortages we've gone through window shortages we've got concrete storage shortages the baseboards then it was pavers like and yeah so anyways so i had to go with five inch which i'm glad my house was able to carry it because i would have been in a bad spot or just living in construction a whole lot longer than i had to so so timelines are a lot more accurate than they used to be all right, number nine, I mentioned it briefly previously again, home inspection. Home inspection is a little bit different on new construction than it is in resale. Not every inspector can do a new construction um, home because the builder requires a certain level of liability and insurance and they have to be registered with the builder. We have a list of those inspectors and can refer you to many different ones, different parts of the valley. And I'll tell you, they really cover a lot of things Things like things that you may not have noticed they have a very trained eye and they are able to communicate effectively to the project manager at the builder and we get this stuff done before closing which leads me to my last number 10 thing that you need to know 
is how that end all wraps up. And they call it, there's two different walkthroughs. There is your final signing and then there's the key release. So there's all this stuff that goes on in the last week. The new home orientation is super important for buyers to attend. It is anywhere from a one hour to a, the longest one I've ever seen is four hours. And it really depends on how big your house is and how many questions you ask. And I would highly recommend that the buyer be there because if you don't even live in town, this is the one thing I would recommend you come in town for prior to closing. Here's again, timing everything. If you know your home is gonna close, let's just say June 15th, my recommendation would be to move into temporary housing June 1st, and that way all your stuff has been packed from wherever you're coming from, everything's in a pods or in storage, you're staying in a short-term rental, which we'll be glad to help arrange with you. We have a list of literally hundreds of short-term rentals owners that will work directly with you, um, and you don't have to pay those astronomical fees with Airbnb, VRBO, et cetera. So we can help save you money there too. But come on in about two weeks prior, attend that new home orientation, allow yourself, like I said, several hours, bring yourself a clipboard and you're gonna be taking notes about, I mean, things that you've never even thought of. Even if you've owned a home, there's some things every time I attend these things, I'm like, I didn't know that. Everybody has a different, you know, way of doing things. And even if you've owned homes, no matter where, whether it's been in Arizona or somewhere else, First of all, Arizona is very, very different than anywhere else because of the heat. We also have just I mean, our, our ground, our weather is completely different. We have such a dry climate. Let me tell you, when it rains, our soil soaks that up like a sponge. So everything swells. And then in the summer, when it gets dry, everything shrinks and cracks. So our homes are built to withstand some of that movement. So again, new home orientations are fantastic places to learn about not only uh, you know, how to maintain your home but how to be prepared to own a home in Arizona so I would highly recommend you do that especially since we don't have to do them virtually anymore and then the week after the, so that's when you're gonna go through the house with a bunch of blue tape and put up clean this fix this mark this this wasn't done right whatever it is plus that home inspection that was done they have a week to get everything done the following week you just do a final walkthrough you're going through making sure about 98 percent of the work is done percent but here's the thing you got to close the builders have in their contract again remember this is very their contracts are builder sided they're there to protect the builder not the consumer but it says in all of the contracts you don't get to say when to close they do <laughs> so even if all the work is not done as long as you it can be lived in let me tell you there were some people without kitchen appliances that were forced to close um, a year or two ago it was insane how much the builders took advantage of the consumers let's not let that happen to you guys and you know what you need to just give us a call you need to give us a call shoot us a text send us an email these nights or weekends we got your back when buying resale or new construction new construction is an animal all of its own you want an experienced new construction agent and team let me tell you we have done hundreds of new construction we know the questions to ask what can be done and if we don't we'll get to the answer right smack away all right guys hope to hear from you soon pick up that phone give us a call shoot us a text days nights or weekends we got you back when moving to phoenix arizona